Okay, everybody, so I'm going to be doing a uh, collection, uh, not collection, custom update. I built two things, and just kind of wanted to show you guys these, because they came out pretty good. The uh, first thing is the smaller of the two, which will take less time to go over. So I'll do, I'll do that first. It's a... Um, very large box plow for uh, my L330C Volvo loader. It came out really nice. Um, I did all the rubber, replicated the rubber inside the rubber flaps, the wear plating on the ends, and the tunnel on top, as well as the structure bars on the sides. And. Wow, this is hot from being in light. But, um, as you can see, there are chains that connect to the bucket. Uh, they connect to the back there. They slip on these hooks. Hang on. hooks stay on. They'll always be on this bucket. I'll probably end up making one for my L220, but uh, there's the hooks. The chain slips in there, and it's just held at a pressure point. Uh, you can see the connection point, uh, and the chain on both sides. The hooks are on both sides. Um, so that's pretty much it for the box plow. I do make these to sell, so uh, let me know what size machine you want it for, um, for a loader, and I'll get you a quote. Put this to the side. Well, it's the loader. And then the biggest custom probably I've ever done and definitely one of my best. It's the, uh, it's, I know I already did one of these a while ago, but that one just didn't come out well. Uh, just really didn't like the way it had ended up coming out. This is the Cat 345DL. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it a CL or a DL yet, but the counterweight more looks, looks more like a uh, DL so far. So... I'm probably going to go with a DL. Uh, this is a skeleton. It's not done yet. I still have to cover it all. But that's just so that it has some structure and some strength. But, um... The entire body is scratch built. The whole bottom. Everything. Uh, where the cab sits. Steps. All the lines, engine cover. I still have a lot of work to do on the back here. I'm going to be grinding all this down and making a removable counterweight system. And I still have an exhaust to do. And all the tread up here. I still have a boom mount and I'm getting a 450 or 470 boom soon for it. Um, here it has the vents for the side. And then the open back. It has more vents on the top and sides of the engine cover. Two brass handrails. I still have um, oil and get and diesel fuel caps to do. And then under there where it connects to the undercarriage. Now the undercarriage has been heavy, heavily modified. I don't know if you guys can tell from the video or not, but this is a Ertl 450 undercarriage that I had to grind down so that the Conrad 11mm wide tracks would fit on it, which it does look really good on this machine. It looks a lot like a uh, city 
machine and they have the really narrow tracks oh, I'll fix that here in a second those pins aren't glued out but um that's what I had to do to the undercarriage I had to make it wicked thin so it fits um they have really skinny tracks in the city for getting around on streets and just in tight areas and really that's it so far I can make these to sell as well um, as well as the box pop so here's everything that I did today I also have a uh, LTM 11200 boom trailer that is almost finished it should be finished later on this week I was waiting for a few parts to come in that just came in today actually so um, thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it I'll have a modder review coming very soon of the um, L330C so uh, hope you guys enjoyed the update and thanks for watching rate comment subscribe thanks guys